it's Coach Reem coming at you, and today we are going to talk about the first in the strength progression series. So this is strength progression number one. There are eight exercises in this first series. I'm going to take you through them. We'll just do one set of eight today, but you should do whatever um, shows up in your program. So let's get started. The first exercise today are the calf raises. So um, for this one, you just need a step. So any step will do. I'm just using a... Um, a step from my house today, but you can use your stairs or anything you've got. Um, you're just going to come up onto a step, and then we're going to go up and down, keeping your body nice and tall. Go down as far as you can, and come up as far as you can. Nice and slow and controlled, working your calf muscles, and you're also warming up your feet on this exercise. Two to go, and last one. Okay, second exercise is the air squat. So for this one, you're gonna start with your feet shoulder width apart, about hip width apart. Toes are facing forward. And you're gonna take, um, just from here, take a seat down, trying to keep the weight as far back on your heels as you can, and squatting down. If you find as you're doing these, that your knees are spreading apart. You can put a ball in between your knees. If you're having a hard time keeping your heels on the ground, you can start by putting a piece of wood or something underneath your heels, but just coming in here, squatting as deep as you can, and coming back up. And last one. Okay, next series is we're going into uh, three different kinds of leg raises. The first one is going to be the standing lateral leg raise. So laterals over to the side and just start out with your hands on your hips or if you need to, you, you can touch a wall next to you. And keeping your body um, nice and tall, head straight, you're just raising one leg up to the side. So on these, the goal is to hold your body as tall as possible. So the only thing that's moving is just the leg that you're raising. And then on that leg, keep your toes facing forward. So you're trying not to turn them out to the side, but keep them facing forward. And we'll switch over to the other side. And last one. Okay, next one, standing back leg raises. So same starting position as before, find your balance, and you're kicking back with your leg. You're at about a 45 degree angle. Think here about leading with your heel, and you're gonna feel it in your glute muscles. And switch sides, and on the second side. one. Okay, the third in the series of, of standing leg raises on this one is going to be the front leg raise. And here you're going to turn your, your, your foot so that you're at about 90 degree angle. And we're going to lift your leg straight up in front of you. So right here, you're going to feel it right in your groin muscle. And keeping your body nice and tall. switching sides. So come nice and tall standing, turn your foot over to the side. Let's raise it on this side, straight out in front. And last one here. Okay, now we're going to go into front knee raises. So again, same, same starting position here. And this time your knee is coming up, straight up. You're getting your hip flexors engaged, working the muscle right here. And last one. 
last two. And last one. Okay, switching sides. Find your balance first. And raise your knee up. And with these, if you are having trouble with your balance, just go ahead and touch a wall next to you. It's more important to stay tall. And with time, you'll get stronger at these and find your balance. Okay, now we're going into standing hamstring curls. So hamstrings, the muscles on the back of your leg, upper leg, and the key here is that your quads need to stay even. So I'm gonna show these to you to the side so you can see and quads are staying even, and you're just gonna bend your leg back. So you'll feel right there. Okay, and now switching sides. Line up your quads again, and lifting your leg straight back behind you. Bending the knee, getting your heel as close to your butt in the direction of your butt as you can. And one more here. Okay, last two over here for your arms. So for these, you need a weight. I don't have any weights at home, so what I did is I just took a water bottle, filled it up. It's pretty light, but you can use something like a milk jug or anything you have at home if you don't have any weights available to you. So we're gonna start out with the bent over row. So on this one, just gonna set yourself bend over nice and um, straight through your core, and then your arm is coming up straight up. So pulling up. Two. Go ahead, switch over to the other side. So I'm in my right hand, or my left hand right now. My right foot is forward. Get into my bent over stance, engaging my core. And going to the other side. two okay final exercise in the set is the tricep kickback so for this one you start in the same basic setup left leg forward weights in your right arm and here I want you to take your upper arm and pretty much glue it to the side of your body so you're starting out with a bent arm and then straightening it out and you'll feel this one right in your triceps the underside of your arm side and let's switch it over to the other side and start bent over and let's go with your extension on this side that's for seven So thanks for joining me today. That's Strength Progression 1. Come on back next time for Strength Progression number 2.